And then this last category is one I want to spend a few minutes on. And this was, I think, particularly illuminating. There were several football counselors who took a series of actions in 2008. They took those, action, they took those actions once Debbie Crowder announced that she'd be retired. And this is what they did to try to mitigate the impact of Debbie Crowder no longer being around to offer those paper classes. The first thing they did is they encouraged their student athletes to take the last year of paper classes. They said, look, you only have one more year of these classes, you better take them. We, read, we heard about that from people and then we saw it. This is a graph that shows the, um, the number of student athletes who took, or number of student athlete enrollments who took the paper classes starting 1999 through 2009. Blue lines is men's football, red line is men's basketball, green is women's basketball, and purple is everything else, what we call it. And you see there was a downward slope there in 2005 to 2008. That was because there were questions being raised about the number of independent studies coming out of uh, the athletic department. But then you see for men's football and the Olympic sports, it goes right back up. Uh, in 2008, 2009, the reason it does that is because they realize that Debbie's leaving, they think that's the end of the paper classes, they want to get as many of those classes under their student athletes belts as possible. Notice though that the um, women's basketball numbers um, stay down and the men's basketball numbers continue to decline in that same period that the football numbers are going straight up. So that was the first thing they did in response to the news about Deborah Crowder's retirement. The second thing they did is they actually they encouraged their student athletes, their players, to get their papers in on time, specifically so that Deborah Crowder could liberally grade their papers and not a professor. So what you have here is this is a, a flyer that was handed out by a counselor to football uh, players saying, as you can see in that box, Debbie Crowder is retiring the following week. So if you would prefer that she read and grade your paper rather than Professor Nangora, you need to have the paper completed before the last day of classes make it very clear that those summer school students needed to get their papers in if they wanted her to grade the papers uh, or to advantageously. Similarly, an email from another one of the counselors saying, Ms. Crowder is retiring in July of the The guy's papers are not in. I would expect D's and C's at best. Most need better than that. All work from the athletic department was be done and turned in the last year class. The most need better than that is a clear reference to her keeping an eye on the impact that these inflated grades have on student athlete eligibility. The third thing that they did um, in response to Deborah Crowder's departure was they gave a clear warning to the football coaching staff. And when I say they, this is the several football um, counselors who were steering students over to the athletic department. And the slide you see right here is a slide that was presented by two student, by two of the counselors in one of the regular meetings that they held with the football coaching staff. And the premise of this is they're trying to tell the, make it clear to the coaching staff that the end of these paper classes is a real problem and kids are gonna have to measure up on their own and not gonna get the crutch, no longer gonna have the crutch of the paper classes. And what they talk about here is what was part of the solution in the past. And that's the solution to getting unmotivated uh, student athletes to perform. And this, by the way, only relates to a small subset of the student athletes. And that you can see that's the context here. But they said, what is the part of the solution? We put them in classes that met degree requirements in which they didn't go to class, they didn't take notes, have to stay awake, they didn't have to meet with professors, they didn't have to pay attention or necessarily engage with material. And those classes were the AFAM AFRI seminar classes with 20 to 25 page papers and in bold, these no longer exist. So ringing the alarm bell for the coaching staff that they're gonna to have to provide more support to these kids and also think on the front end about their recruitment standards to make sure that these kids can, can cut it academically without the clutch of these paper classes. And to reinforce the point, there's a, a second slide, actually a series of slides, in which they give specific examples of the fact that the student name is whited out there but struggles academically and lacks responsibility is the category of student, student athletes who fit that profile. You see the first one has a student athlete with a 2.2 grade point average, and they indicate that the AFAM GPA, the GPA they, they learned in those classes was 3.7, their other AFAM, their other GPA generally 1.86. So they draw that comparison just to hammer home the point that these classes were critical to these students staying afloat. 
And then the fourth thing that they did in response to Deborah Crowder retiring is they went to uh, Professor Nangora and tried to persuade him to offer these classes. In other words, instead of having Deborah Crowder do it, he would do it. And he did agree that he would, uh, he would do so. And the way they did that is they designated one of the counselors, when we get Jamie Lee, to sort of go build a relationship. And you see a great relationship with Nangoro, she did, and she then, we saw this in emails, she persuaded him to offer several of these classes. And, um, and, and offered these classes so that the football players would take them. He did, and in the course of those, what, three years between 2009 and 2011, um, they, he offered six of those classes, 34 or so football players took those classes, including nine football players, 19 football players who took the very last paper class in the summer of 2011. 19 football players took that class. And